Good evening, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to be able to award the Foreign Policy Association Corporate Responsibility Award to Heineken and to its chairman and CEO, Jean-Francois Van Boxmeer. Jean-Francois has been CEO of Heineken since 2005, a company he joined as a trainee in 1984. And interestingly, he spent a meaningful part of his career outside of Holland, including stints living in Rwanda, in Congo, in Poland, and in Italy, and then taking responsibility for major parts of the company's activities around the world before becoming overall CEO and chairman. Five years ago, Heineken decided to transform its approach to building a sustainable business. It launched what it called Brewing a Better World, an integrated and comprehensive 10-year approach to sustainability. Among alcohol companies in particular and consumer goods generally, what made this approach different was the way it recognized that sustainability is not only about energy, water, CO2, packaging, but it's also about people, the communities in which they live, and critically, the impact that misuse of their products can have on society in general. And since uh, this was launched in 2010, the company has reported independently audited progress on a series of commitments they made across these areas. And in 2015, today, the company is a year ahead of schedule in terms of energy and water, and is setting new, more stretching commitments for 2020. In relation to its work with communities, Heineken's major scale agricultural sourcing initiatives in Africa are economically empowering more than 100,000 farmers and their families. This approach to sourcing is a best in class example of how to create prosperity for more than just the company. And by 2010, Heineken aims to be, to locally source about 60% uh, of its raw materials from Africa, or for Africa, I should say. The Brewing a Better World program also recognizes the need to address issues associated with alcohol-related harm. Last year, the company increased its targets in relation to responsible consumption with a commitment to invest at least 10% of its media budget uh, in a campaign to make moderate consumption aspirational. I know that responsible consumption is the subject that is close to the heart of Jean-Francois Van Boxmeer, who is a very public advocate for responsible consumption as the way forward for the beer industry working in partnership with competitors, lawmakers, civil society, and consumer groups. Jean-Francois has overseen the company's transition from a European and mature market-based company to one which now generates the majority of its volume and profits from emerging markets. I learned today that while Heineken is the most global of all beer brands, the Heineken brand accounts for only about 15% of the company's total volume. And its three biggest markets by volume uh, are, surprisingly, Mexico, Nigeria, and Vietnam. Alongside this transformation and growing orientation to emerging markets, Jean-Francois has led the drive to ensure that growth and progress in these markets benefits as many in society as possible. In Haiti, in Myanmar, in Ethiopia, all of which are new emerging markets for Heineken, the company is embedding water use, local sourcing, and responsible consumption commitments at the start of operations in order to ensure future sustainable growth. It's a very different, very positive way of thinking and working. Jean-Francois, could you come up here? We'd like to, it gives us great pleasure for the Foreign Policy Association to award to you and to Heineken the FPA's Corporate Responsibility Award.